So a sovereign citizen shows up to superior court facing multiple felony charges. These aren't traffic tickets. If things don't go his way, he's gonna go to prison for a long time. I don't get it. Your case to be called today, you didn't hear your name called? Yes. Who was that? This is Aya Bay. Uh, explanation is Daniel Sally. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, sir. Explanation, Daniel Sally. Daniel Sally is your name? That's my explanation. My name is Ayel Lerube. Judge, this is position 28, Daniel Sally. Um, well, I'll let Mr. Mr. Sally, I think, is representing himself pro se. You have a right to decline counsel. It's not a good idea. And um, All right, Mr. Yeah. Sally, you're charged in 21 CR 1124. Are you wanting to represent yourself or do you want to see if you qualify for an attorney? I'm presenting myself in propria persona, not pro se. I know in general. No, there's no special appearance. See, this is the problem with all due respect to you, sir. People come on here uh, intending to be any number of entities, agencies, or having positions. But the reality is this is going to move forward. So I'm not going to ask the question 16 different ways. I'm going to ask it the same way every time because I know I'm legally sound in doing so. So the final thing I'm going to ask you is who is going to represent you because you will be sitting at the table by yourself expected to answer to these charges. And if you say nothing or you say the wrong thing, you will be convicted. And if you are convicted, there is a maximum penalty associated with each count and your liberty will be restrained. So I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm saying. I don't advise that you're doing what you're attempting to do right now. I'm just going to cut to the chase because that's all I know how to do. But people have tried it before. I don't advise that you do it. Which, what do you want to do? I'm a private citizen. I'm a private national. I'm not a uh, okay. uh, United States uh, citizen. And I also would like to challenge the court's jurisdiction. Sure. Mr. Daniel Sally is charged with one count of possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon or first offender probationer, one count of possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, one count of willful obstruction of a law enforcement officer, which is a misdemeanor, one count of giving a false name, address, or birth date to law enforcement, also a misdemeanor, one count, it looks like something to affix a license to conceal, one count of uh, disobedience of a traffic control device, one count of failure to maintain insurance, and one count of unregistered vehicle, no tag or city or decal. He has answered my call on this calendar um, associated with the name Daniel Eric Sally, but is using an alias. I'm going to enter a not guilty plea to each of these counts. Uh, sir, are you going to appear and represent yourself? Ma'am, uh, may I ask a question? You have to answer mine first. I will not answer another question until you answer mine. I'm, I will present myself in propria persona in my own proper person, not pro se. I ain't asking if you were pro se. I said you're going to represent yourself for these each of these counts, and there are nine of them. Am I? Am I? Um, am I? Uh, you're being prosecuted. Several are felonies. The others are misdemeanors. What would you like to do? Represent yourself to respond to the charges or have someone who was trained in the law? Do you watch football, sir? Ma'am, ma um, no disrespect, but these charges, uh, this is like, this was uh, 2019, the case. See, number. This, th but this is why you need an attorney, because you are stepping into an arena that unless you've been to law school and you've specifically done this kind of law, it's dangerous territory and it could uh, it could impact your liberty. I'm just going to tell you, I don't recommend it. We can go back and forth. Well, actually, we can't go back and forth because I'm about to be done with this. Do but, you want to see if you qualify to have someone represent you or you want to do this yourself? Ma'am, um, before I make the decision, I was just trying to ask you a, a question, just respectfully. But you have to answer my question respectfully.
Are you going to represent yourself or not? It's a yes or a no. At this time, I'm presenting myself in propria persona. I didn't ask you about propria persona, but I'm not going to ask again. That's Damn, I answered your question. I, I will okay, be then you I'm will be excused from this calendar and you will get notice to appear for the next one. If you don't follow the court rules and you don't show up, they will pick you up and put you in custody. I'm sure you understand what that means. That's the rule for everybody. So because you want to appear um, in as whatever entity that you are trying to appear as, and dismiss yourself from this name that is legally associated with these charges. If that's what you choose to do in whatever way you're choosing to do it, you can do so. I am telling you that I have asked you and I've gone on the record. And so I'm legally sound in my decision to enter a not guilty plea on your behalf and to move forward with your case because it's gotta yeah. move forward. Whether Man, you wanna be involved matter. in representing yourself or not. I have to assume you want to represent yourself because I've asked you three times if you wanted to see if you qualified for legal counsel. You refused to answer that question, which is your prerogative, but the case is going to move forward. So final word is, do you want to change your mind about that or not? Ma'am, I've challenged the court's jurisdiction. It must be proven, not assumed. Well, but you don't even know how to do that legally. You don't, there's a, technically there's a way you could do that, but you don't know how to do it because you're not doing it correctly. I've told you that too. This is not my first rodeo with somebody who's tried to do this the way you're doing it. You're not even doing it correctly. So, okay, Mr. Sally, thank you. You are excused. Case will be put on the next pre-trial calendar. Goodbye.